There are a ton of Pokemon that are absolutely essential in Pokemon Go. Whether it be Pokemon that are good for raids, gym battling, or PvP, there are certain Pokemon that you absolutely need to have in order to do well in this game. But considering that there's well over 500 Pokemon now available in the game, it will be daunting for the average new player to figure out which Pokemon are worth investing in and which Pokemon are best left to be transferred away. So in today's video, I am going to list off the top 10 most essential Pokemon that you should get in Pokemon Go. Alright, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. And what's happening everyone? It's me, it's Count, and in today's video, I'll be listing off the top 10 most essential Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Every single one of these Pokemon are useful in some meaningful way, which means not having any of these Pokemon could prevent you from succeeding in certain parts of the game, especially gym battles and raiding. Now if you're trying to figure out which of your Pokemon you want to dedicate all of your Stardust and Rare Candies, then these 10 Pokemon are your safest bets. Sure, it may not be overly necessary for you to have these 10 Pokemon, but the difference that it would make having these Pokemon as opposed to not having them is too significant to ignore. Therefore, if you lack any of these 10 most essential Pokemon, then I highly suggest you work towards getting them as soon as possible. If any of them happen to be in raid battles, then you should be raiding as much as you can. If you know someone who could trade you any of these Pokemon, then make sure you get it done. These Pokemon will allow you to be one of the very best, like no one ever was. Right, so with that said, let's get started with our 10th most essential Pokemon, which is none other than Melmetal. This mythical steel type Pokemon is unique in that it was introduced through Pokemon Go rather than any of the mainstream games, and it alongside its pre-evolved form Meltan are the only Pokemon that have this characteristic. At least, that's how it was at the time of this recording. Melmetal is one of the most powerful Pokemon that you can use in both Gym Battles and the Go Battle League, with some of the most frequent appearances being in the Ultra and Master League. This has much to do with its very versatile move pool, which allows you to handle some of the toughest Pokemon to deal with in these leagues, and Melmetal is also the only legendary or mythical quality Pokemon that you can leave in a gym as a defender, making it one of the strongest and most well-rounded defenders you can have. What's also really nice about Melmetal is of course how easy it is to obtain compared to other Pokemon of equal worth. In order to get this Pokemon, you don't have to spend hundreds or even thousands of Poke Coins for raid passes, you don't have to hatch any eggs, no, you just simply have to transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home, which you could quite literally do right now at this very moment. Doing so will allow you to open up a mystery box, which acts like a free incense that will attract Melmetal's pre-evolved form Meltan by the droves. Doing this a few times will yield enough candy to evolve and power up one, and if you happen to live in an area that snows frequently, you could possibly land a weather boosted one with excellent IVs. All of these factors makes Meltan one of the most essential Pokemon to have, but the ninth Pokemon which I consider to be one of the most essential has to be the fan favorite dragon and flying type Pokemon, Dragonite. While it may not be a legendary Pokemon, its status in the Pokemon fan community might as well make it one. Dragonite is the OG status symbol Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Sure, it may not necessarily be considered rare by today's standards, but in the early days of Pokemon Go, owning a Dragonite made you an absolute legend. And while everyone and their mother probably owned multiple Dragonites at this point, it still doesn't take away the fact that it is one of the most useful and reliable Pokemon in this game. Sure, as a Dragon type, it will almost always get outclassed by several Pokemon as a raid damage dealer, but because of the insane combo of Dragon Breath and Dragon Dragon Claw being available in Dragonite's moveset, it can still be a viable option if you do not have a ton of Dragon type legendaries at your disposal. And if you happen to have a Shadow Dragonite with these moves, then it will be pushed over the edge just enough to outperform those legendaries, making it the absolute best Dragon type attacker. That is something to keep in mind. It is also one of the most well-rounded Pokemon currently in the game in terms of stats. 
This makes it one of the top gym defenders, as well as a phenomenal pick in the Ultran Master League. So yes, because of this, I consider Dragonite as one of the most essential Pokemon that you could have, but there just might be one Pokemon that has much of the same benefits as Dragonite, but with slightly more significance. And that Pokemon is our 8th most essential Pokemon, Mamoswine. Now you're probably wondering why I would have a Pokemon like Mamoswine on this list, when there are so many legendary Pokemon and even pseudo-legendary Pokemon to choose from. But here's the thing, very few of those Pokemon can outperform Mamoswine as an anti-flyer or an anti-dragon. Considering that a vast majority of legendary raid bosses have some sort of flying type or dragon type, this means that a Mamoswine will almost always be a top pick when you're going into legendary raids. For some raid bosses, Mamoswine will absolutely dominate because they have both flying type and dragon type. Now, ever since Mamoswine had a community day, it has gained one of the most diverse move pools among every non-legendary Pokemon that exists in the game. Even so, you can still do just fine with just ice type moves alone, especially in raid battles where ice types are necessary. Sure, there are glass cannon ice types like Weavile that will outperform Mamoswine as a raid damage dealer, but the nice thing about Mamoswine is that, much like Dragonite, it also has a shadow form that is available for you to get through Team Go Rocket battles. If your Mamoswine is shadow, it will dish out high enough damage where it will vastly outperform those glass cannons I mentioned in raids. But speaking of raids, there is one particular legendary raid boss that I frequently farm up whenever it is released, and that Pokemon is our 7th most essential Pokemon on this list, Groudon. Among all of the ground type Pokemon that exist in the game, none truly compare to this legendary Pokemon. Sure, there are some that could dish out more damage over time, or would be considered a much better pick in PvP, but Groudon is overall one of the most reliable. Not only does it have some of the best base stats in the game, which is reflected by its really high max CP, but it is also versatile with a plethora of different charge moves at your disposal. It could learn Earthquake, one of the most powerful moves in the game, but it could also learn Fire Punch or Solar Beam. This gives Groudon quite a lot of type coverage in gym battles and raids, and it's also made very frequent appearances in the Master League as well. I can't tell you how many times things in Pokemon Go got easier once I fully maxed out my best Groudon, certain raid battles and Team Go Rocket battles became trivial, and whenever I needed a ground type, Groudon has always provided the best results. But there is one Pokemon, however, that many have perceived as Groudon's greatest foe. And who else could I be talking about than our sixth most essential Pokemon, Kyogre. Among all of the legendary Pokemon that exist in Pokemon Go, there are very few that you could consider as timeless. These are the Pokemon that, no matter how many Pokemon of the same typing that Niantic releases, will still retain its value and dominance. Now Kyogre happens to be one of those Pokemon. Sure, there are plenty of water types that could deal a little bit more damage than Kyogre, and there are certainly Pokemon that could find more uses in a general standpoint, but none of them are as well-rounded as Kyogre as a water type. If a raid boss is weak against water, or you're having a gym that's being defended by a bunch of fire types, then look no further than Kyogre as your primary option. Not only does it dish out a lot of damage in raid battles and gym battles, but its high defense stats allows it to be a solid anchor point for your teams. The only time I don't see Kyogre get frequently used is of course in the Go Battle League, but I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that Kyogre will make occasional appearances in the Master League. It can certainly be said that Pokemon Go has changed completely when Kyogre was released into the game, but I would argue that Kyogre probably didn't have as big of an impact compared to the next Pokemon on our list. And that brings me to the fifth most essential Pokemon, and that is of course Rayquaza. Now among these several Hoenn legendaries, probably the one that is considered the biggest fan favorite is without question Rayquaza. Sure, the case could be made for any of the legendaries from this generation, but considering how powerful Rayquaza is, as well as how so many legendary raid bosses are weak against it, not having one of these as part of your arsenal could vastly limit what you can do. Simply speaking, Rayquaza is one of the best glass cannons in the game. 
It may not have some of the highest defense stats, but it does have an extremely high attack stat. Couple that with some of the hardest hitting moves in the game like Outrage or Hurricane, and Rayquaza is going to be one of your top Pokemon that you will frequently use. Among all the Dragon types in the game, Rayquaza is the hardest hitting one. That is of course if you're excluding Shadow Dragonite. And even if you are going against an enemy team that isn't weak against Dragon types, Rayquaza is still one of the best neutral damage dealing Pokemon in the game. It has very few rivals for what it does, and you will find that it will almost always be one of your top options against so many legendary raid bosses. But we can't have this list of most essential Pokemon without including some more pseudo legendaries, and the fourth most essential Pokemon that I'm going to be talking about is none other than Metagross. Now this is the second pseudo legendary Pokemon on this list, but I would argue and say that it is the most valuable. It has the unique type combination of Steel and Psychic, which very few non-legendary and non-mythical Pokemon will have. On top of that, it has one of the best Community Day moves out of all of the Community Day Pokemon that we've had up until now. Metagross with Meteor Mash is probably one of the most useful Pokemon that you will have. That is of course because good Steel types that are viable for raids and gym battles are far and few between. But Metagross is the absolute king in this regard. Metagross, like most of the Pokemon on this list, is also very well rounded with its stats. It has a very good attack stat, but also a decent defense stat as well. This makes it an absolute must for the Master League and Gym Battles. As a matter of fact, it's probably one of the most meta Pokemon, no pun intended, in the Go Battle League. It's an absolute staple of a Pokemon if you're battling in the Premier Leagues, and it can also go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the top legendaries in the Master League. Needless to say, having a good Metagross will allow you to dominate several aspects of Pokemon Go, but we can't talk about the most essential Pokemon while discounting Gym Battles. And the third most essential Pokemon on this list is the absolute king when it comes to taking them down. And that Pokemon is Lucario. What can be said about Lucario that hasn't been said already? Not only is this a fan favorite Pokemon, but it is by and large one of the best gym attackers in the game. That is of course because it has a very powerful fighting type moveset that will destroy the most common and most powerful gym defenders. It may not have the most well-rounded stats compared to the other fighting types, notably Konkoldor, but Lucario just dishes out so much damage that you will likely defeat all of the Pokemon in the gym before ever needing a potion or revive. And on top of its high damage, it also is a solid raid attacker when a fighting type is necessary. In the old days of Pokemon Go's initial launch year, the only viable fighting type that was available to us was of course Machamp, and for a long time Machamp really didn't have any competition as a gym attacker. Well, that all changed once Lucario was introduced into the game. Lucario is everything Machamp is, but better. On top of that, Lucario also boasts a very unique type combination of fighting and steel making it a very versatile counter against some of the toughest Pokemon to take it down. Lucario also has a Mega Evolution, although at the time that I was recording this video it wasn't released yet, so it makes it potentially one of the best damage dealers in the game by a country mile. Rest assured, if you have yourself a really good Lucario, you will be able to go far in this game. But dealing damage in gym battles is simply not enough if you want to be successful. Once you take down that gym, you will need a solid defender to hold it so that you can get your daily free Poke Coins. And what better gym defender is there than our second most essential Pokemon, Blissey. Yes, that's right, I included Blissey in a list talking about the most essential Pokemon in Pokemon Go, but I do think its inclusion is well justified for the very fact that no other Pokemon is as good of a gym defender as Blissey. Unless you are freely spending money in this game, proper gym defense is absolutely crucial if you want to raid, hatch eggs, and do all sorts of things in Pokemon Go. Getting all 50 free daily Poke Coins every day could prove challenging to the average player, unless of course that player has several powered up Blisseys in their collection. Sure, Blissey will never be a viable raid attacker or a solid Go Battle League Pokemon, but because of its absolute dominance in gym defense, it is absolutely imperative that you have several good Blissey at your disposal. 
Seriously, it will allow you to hold gems so easily, allowing you to rake in all those Poke Coins that you could eventually use towards raids. I can't stress enough how important this Pokemon is for your success. Blissey is also one of the only Pokemon in the game that has such a high defense and health stat that its viability as a defender is not hindered by bad IVs. Meaning, if your Blissey is a crappy one, it will still be amongst your top defenders. Therefore, I just simply could not make this list without including Blissey, as it stood unrivaled as a gym defender and will likely continue to do so until Pokemon Go inevitably reaches its end. Alright, so with all of that, we have arrived to our number one most essential Pokemon in Pokemon Go. We talked about raid attackers, gym attackers, PvP dominant Pokemon, and fan favorites, but there is only one Pokemon that could be the most useful in just about every aspect of this game, better than most, if not all of the Pokemon that I mentioned in this list so far, and which Pokemon am I talking about? It is, of course, going to be Mewtwo. If you do not have a good Mewtwo, then you will not find as much success in just about every area in this game compared to someone who does have a good Mewtwo. Regardless if it's gym battling, raiding, PvP, etc., Mewtwo is an absolute unit that will always prove to be useful. It has some of the best stats in the game, boasting a really high attack and defense stat, as well as a diverse move pool that only gets bested by Mew. Seriously, Mewtwo could potentially counter just about every Pokemon in this game. Are you going up against a tough Dragon type raid boss? Give it Ice Beam. Having trouble taking down a gym with a Steel type or Blissey? Use Flamethrower or a Focus Blast Mewtwo. Regardless of whatever it is you need, Mewtwo will prove its worth. If you happen to have a high IV Shadow Mewtwo with Confusion, Shadow Ball, and Psy Strike, then congratulations, you have yourself the absolute best generalist in the game. Seriously, even when it comes to gym battles, sometimes I just open up with Shadow Mewtwo and just attack mindlessly against every defender in that gym regardless of its type, and I take it down with ease. That's just how powerful Mewtwo really is, and if you still don't have one, then you should absolutely trade for one as soon as possible. It really is the most essential Pokemon in this game regardless of what you're trying to do. So yeah, there you have it everyone, these are my top 10 most essential Pokemon in Pokemon Go. But considering that there are just so many powerful Pokemon in this game, naturally some Pokemon that are deserving of this list will get left out. So tell me which Pokemon that you have found to be the most essential that I did not include in the comment section below. What Pokemon are you using the most? What Pokemon has given you the most success? Let me know and let's have a great discussion. As always, if you ended up enjoying this video, leave a like and subscribe if it's your first time here. I'm Count Jinsula, be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you all later.